I'm ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. Yeah, so um, a couple of Sky Sports and Matchroom prospects were beaten badly. And Jake Ball was one of them. He was 7-0 and with six knockouts. He took on an opponent named JJ McDonough at the Wembley Arena. And basically, Jake came out very hard, throwing hands. Jake is 7-0 and with six knockouts. His opponent, JJ McDonough, had 14 victories, 7 stoppages and 3 losses. So this was the step up for Jake. He was on paper the favourite. He forgot his defence. He got caught with a right hand. That was staggering him back to the ropes. He gave up his height. 6 foot 4. Very tall. Light heavyweight. Madonna started getting aggressive using his forearms to rough Jake up inside. Caught him round the back of the head. As Jake tried to bow and weave. A straight left went in. A follow up attack. With one particular right hand being kind of brutal. The momentum of the punch and McDonough's exuberance to get at Jake, he punched him and wrestled him over the top rope onto his neck. Put Jake clean over the top rope, right over the top rope and he scrambled back into the ring. He would have been allowed 20 seconds but his faculties were a little scrambled and he tried to get up straight away, which was a little bit of a mistake as you are allowed 20 seconds to recover when you're knocked out of the ring. McDonough, he followed up. With a minute and 30 seconds gone into the first round, he landed a big right hook that left Jake on his back. Jeff Hines, the referee, put Jake into the recovery position on his side. His body went limp, his arms spread eagled at the side of him as he laid unconscious. Big win for McDonough at the Wembley Arena. And that's my KO of the month. JJ McDonough, first round knockout of the unbeaten maximum prospect, Jake Ball. Peace.